Hello everyone, my name's Tom the Taxi Driver. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you enjoy what I do here, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. So to start off my day, all I have to do is choose when I want to come off the Westway. Today, I'm gonna to try my luck with Harley Street. As you can see from the streets, it's a little bit of a slow start. And it's always just so frustrating when you are just behind a cab that gets a job in front of you. I'm feeling a little bit caged in in central London, so I head south, kind of Battersea direction. Lucky for me, I'm coming down Chelsea Bridge Road and my tactic pays off. When the passenger got in, they just said Clapham Common. So on the way, as we're coming past Queenstown Road Station, I ask whereabouts. This is the kind of crucial point. I can either take Silverthorne Road by the Victoria Pub, or I can continue on Queenstown Road, neatly leading me to the middle of the common. She replies back and says that she just wants the common. So the quickest way of getting to Clapham Common, nowhere specific really. As soon as I drop off, I get a request on a taxi app. It's a little deeper and further into Clapham, but it's certainly worth doing that rather than the risk of going all the way back to Central empty. One of the things I love about driving a cab is paying attention to the roads and traffic conditions because invariably across the shift you might use those roads multiple times. So if you've already been there in your shift you have a really good understanding of what the traffic or what the conditions might be like in that area. So we go back across the common, we wiggle through a few back streets just to cut out the restrictions near to Clapham Common. Just look how beautiful it is going over Battersea Bridge. Probably one of the most boring and plainest bridges in London, but it is amazing. So yeah, my plan, half work there. What I do, rather than just following all the other taxis, just do really big loops. And especially to areas of London that are a bit harder to access. So, you know, go south, like Battersea Park Road, um, you know, Nine Elms, all of that. But those two jobs, at least I've now covered with petrol money. So whatever I take now is sort of profit. It's not a profit because I've still got to pay for the cab, all that stuff check out my expenses video if you want to learn a little bit more i don't know where to head now i mean it's three o'clock you could get like um school rush kind of parents that have gone to like uh private schools and things so i might just stay sort of like in this west territory heading up towards holland park i get another app request just as a side note i will always prioritize a street hail over app work. There's no middleman in that interaction. Someone puts a hand up, they jump in my cab. It's as simple as that. Whereas an app can take up to 15%, even 20% of your earnings. I don't mind it if I'm 
a bit further out of central, maybe if I'm down in Wandsworth, Clapham, wherever it may be. But as you come back to central, then apps take less and less priority. Taxi smells brand new, it says. Um, yeah, where am I? Campton Hill Road, Campton Hill Square, Notting Hills that way, and Kensington Church Street is just through there. Look at how beautiful a day it is. Look, you can see right out over there. I don't know what that is. It's like UCLH. Nah, it's not boring enough. I'm feeling a little bit better than, uh, than I expected, really. I think I'm just gonna pop over into Notting Hill, like Kensington Park Road area, Portobello Road. I'm probably a bit too late though, because it's now 20 to four, so, but can't hurt to go around the area. I don't have any luck in Notting Hill, so I head back along the Marlebon Road, and this time I head for Marlebon High Street. There's gonna be someone in the comments who goes, oh Tom, you don't pronounce Marlebone right, it's Mary Lebone. I kind of mentally flip a coin each time I say it. So sometimes I say Marlebone, sometimes I say Marilebone. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. With nothing on the high street, I head back to Wimpole Street and do the Wimpole Harley Loop. I love working on one-way streets because it's just so easy to like spot a job. You could be following a cab, but if they just miss that opportunity, if they just miss the hand going up, then you can catch that job. Another thing with working on one-way streets is that I like the thinking that goes into which direction to head in. This lady here wants to go to Abbey Lodge. Abbey Lodge is right by the mosque at Regent's Park, so you just get into Regent's Park, exit out by Hanover Gate, and bosh, you're there. So we have a pick up at Abbey Lodge and then we've got to go to the sports centre. Now to get from Abbey Lodge to Little Venice Sports Centre, there's a couple of ways this can be done. The way I thought about it was the canal. I know that just where the mosque is on Park Road is where the canal runs. You know, you, you go over that as you head up towards St John's Wood. And that'll be the most direct route to the sports centre. Come down Lisson Grove to get right into Frampton Street. And that's quite neatly tracing alongside the canal. Man, I hate Frampton Street. Like, it's it was the perfect road for this route, right? And then when you get down to the Edgware Road end, there's always vans parked there. It's just a bit of a nightmare to navigate. But anyway, it goes pretty well for me this time. Edgware Road, bus driver kindly lets me across. Cuthbert Street, Hall Place, Crompton Street, and Bosch, you're there. When I exit out, I actually notice there's a section of the Edgware Road that's closed. So Fitzroy Square is south and east, but I'm forced up the Edgware Road. That's north and west. So that's where the knowledge comes in. You've got to use your loaf and think of the best way out of the situation. I opt for St John's Wood Road and then Lisson Grove. I've already been in that area so I know the traffic is pretty good. My opt 
optimum set is going to be on the southwest corner of Fitzroy Square. It's the easiest and quickest way I can get to Fitzroy Square. Just do a little bit of shimmying. So you come up Albany Street, around the Melia White House Hotel, past Great Portland Street Station, down Bowlesover Street, left Greenwell, right into Cleveland Street, and bosh, you're pretty much there for Fitzroy Square. Hey, that rhymes. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Now, as I'm a creature of habit, I head back over to Wimpole Street. And look, the ambulance is still there. That must be pretty serious. One of the most satisfying hails is when you catch someone coming out of the doorway. Just check this one out. Bosh. If I was looking at a sat-nav, I wouldn't be able to see that hand go up that quickly. That's what the knowledge is all about. The person on board wants to go to Montpellier Place, Knightsbridge area, and that's now southwest of where I am. So I take a right onto Weymouth Street. It's the opposite direction, but I know there's a muse immediately after that, which I can cut through, and that cuts out two sets of traffic lights. From there, New Cavendish Street, Welbeck Street neatly cuts off the rest of Marlborough High Street. We got ourselves out into Park Lane and we're away. Before the pandemic, I would have used South Carriage Drive to complete this route. Man, I miss that road so, so much. So you have to go all the way down Park Lane, sit through a couple of sets of traffic lights on Hyde Park Corner, then get onto Knightsbridge, and that can sometimes be quite queued up, and then go past the Mandarin. It's just quite long and faff, really. And I decide to drop Montpellier Place from the top. Trevor Place, Montpellier Square, Montpellier Street, Montpellier Place. A lot of Montpelliers. I start heading back to the centre, but on the way, I get a Twitter notification saying that the Royal Albert Hall has popped. Yes. And as I head towards the Royal Albert Hall, you'll notice that there's a lot more pedestrians in the area, which could signify that there is an event that's just finished. I pick up my passengers and then learn that it's actually the Cirque du Soleil that's at the Royal Albert Hall. out well that worked out really well um question is now what do i do now right let's go driving again after dropping this friendly bunch off near sexy fish i start to head towards wimpole street again but on seymour street check out this guy i just don't get it when people do this right at a zebra crossing the traffic is obliged to stop but he just skips the crossing and just Crosses in front of me, does the little stop, I'm crossing. Uh, London, London. Before you know it, I'm heading north along the Edgware Road and home is calling me. I'm going to turn that bad boy off. Thank you once again for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, I recommend checking out more of my driving videos. Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye.